You know, during the campaign, sir, you and I talked a lot about the effort to defund the police. Uh, now nine cities have done that, and their murder rates are up 68 percent. 68 percent. Should yeah. the Fed step in and say that anybody that cuts police funding will lose federal law enforcement assistance aid? It's okay with me. I think if you, collect, if you defund the police, you should be on your own because that's insane. And every place that's done it, it's almost like they're a bunch of babies. They don't know what they're doing. It's so basic. Defund the police, crime goes up. That's what's happened. Every single place they've done it, they defund the police, yep. crime goes up. There's no way that a man who is, is politicking on defund the police wins an election. That I can tell you. Right. Now, you know, New York and other states have abolished cash bail. As soon as they arrest a the guy, they let him out and they sort of pray that he shows up for trial. How about cutting the law enforcement assistance aid if a state repeals cash bail like New York did? So uh, you look at no cash bail. That's another thing. That's the new in vogue thing. Uh, you can murder someone and you get out with no cash bail. It's absolutely insane. What's going on with law and order and crime in this country, it's, and it's only going to get worse. It's going to get much worse, uh, including all of the people that are coming. We had the strongest border in the history of our country. Very few people. Drugs were way down. Human, human trafficking was almost stopped. We did things that were amazing. And you take a look at what's happening now. And let me tell you, they're letting people from prisons. They're opening their prisons. Their prisoners are coming in. They're murderers, they're drug addicts and drug dealers, by the way, and yep. the human traffickers are coming in. They're letting them in. They want them in. They don't want them in their country. So they're saying, send them to the yep. USA, and we're send accepting them, them because they've opened up the borders, Dick. Now, you have always been a strong supporter of women's sports, and you know how much good Title IX of the civil rights did in promoting equality. Now boys are just crossing the street without surgery or even hormone therapy and announcing that they're girls and winning all the scholarships and the championships. Should this be allowed? It's insane. It's very unfair to women. It's going to destroy women's sports if it hasn't already done it. You look at some states, every single record is now held by a person who was a man yep. just a little while ago. Yep. Where they in Connecticut, you know, go all into 30 championships. weightlifting. You look at what's going on with the weightlifting records and the track and field records yeah. and all of these records, and women aren't going to be able to compete. The, a one young woman in Connecticut, she was the star runner in Connecticut. I, I had her on my show line. a few weeks ago. Oh, good. She was at the 80 yard line, and the person, the race was over. The whole thing out of a 100 yard dash. Yeah. This is insane. And it's going to destroy women's sports. It's, I mean, who's going to – how do you compete? It's, it's so ridiculous. Yep. I, I can't even believe we have to have a conversation about it, actually. And Biden says it's no – that we shouldn't discriminate against transgenders. In fact, we're discriminating against girls. Now, sir, in 22 states, Medicaid money is being used to pay for gender change surgery for kids, for 10 or 11-year-olds. Uh, you didn't allow that. Do you think we should prohibit Medicaid money from going for gender change surgery? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. For kids, young, young kids getting it. Young, beyond young. It's ridiculous. Well, sir, thank you. This has been fabulous. And I just want to tell you how fabulous I think you've been as a president. And I just worry that people don't really understand the depth of your achievements. We've touched on a few of them here, and I think it's very important that people understand just how much they're missing you. Well, I appreciate it very much. And say hello to your wife. She's a great woman, and I will see you soon, okay? I sure will. I remember that once when I read you an ad about uh, the defunding the cops, and you said, that's a great ad, but you didn't write that. I know who wrote that. Your wife wrote it. You have the genes, but she has the brains. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself, okay? 
I will. You take care. Thank you, Dick. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.